Okay, I think we're going to get this little soiree started. Um, welcome to Webinar Wednesdays with Encon Electronics. And this week we have Torsion Vehicle Access Technologies. And they're going to talk about all of their different product offerings with all the way from loops and lock guards and wheels and V-Track to barrier arms that actually ship on UPS. Amazing. What? Uh, they've got their quick fold system, gate operators, and coming soon, they've got an automated pedestrian gate system that's going to just revolutionize our whole industry. I really am thinking this is going to be a great, great, great product. Um, so without further ado, we're going to get started today. We have uh, Peter Hartzell is going to be leading this webinar today, and uh, Greg Holton up in the top left over here. I don't know if that's working right, but he, he will be uh, be helping out. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to hand it off to Peter. All right, thank you. I'm the spokesperson. All the all the hard work that's gone into the products and the presentation and everything is part of a, a big team effort. But to keep your time valuable, I'll be the one person you'll be listening to for the most part. Greg will probably jump in with some color commentary along the way, but we'll, we'll get this rolling. So thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, we have at Torsion a long, long relationship with NCON with tremendous respect for everyone who works there. And I grew up as a dealer. Uh, installing automatic vehicle gates and NCON and Betty and Jeff and Joe and the whole gang were my go-to organization. So it's with a great uh, pride that I uh, have the chance to speak to NCON and your dealers this morning. Um, thanks for the introduction, Jeff. Um, we are going to start with a deep dive on uh, I think the, the most exciting of our historic products. Then we'll go through components and you'll see what, what comes down the road. But let's start with go for the fold. Here in the San Francisco Bay Area, you see a lot of folding gate systems over the last 30 years have been installed. But in the rest of the nation, and some of you may be from as far away as you know, Arizona or, or Nevada, uh, they're not as, as common. And so we want to focus on why the fold is exciting. So let's get into it, uh, Greg. We're going to take you on a, on a driving tour in your NCON powered integrator uh, Lamborghini. And we got four stops along the way, quick fold systems to start. Then as I mentioned, components, pedestrian solutions and support. And we've got time for questions along the way feel free to pop them into the chat. We have Frank Bacosa who will be handling those and then we'll have some time at the end for everyone to unmute and, and have more conversation if, if you'd like. Two goals for today, okay? Your time is precious. Let's stay focused on why we're here. We wanna present you with some of the solutions that make Torsion exciting and, and a growing presence in the industry and really the ones that are gonna help you grow the revenue of your dealership. And then second, we want to help get you a first round of information and, and set up long-term relationships that makes you love, fall in love, really, literally, with these cool, cool products we have. So there's the fist bump. NCON's facilitating the fist bump there. You may have met some of us on the, uh, in Utah, it was kind of the last gasp of, before, before the big uh, coronavirus shutdown. Um, it was wonderful to see many people there, um, and we hope that things are back a year from now or a year from then in March at, at Fence Tech in Nashville. We were just talking about that a minute ago. On the stage there, you see I'm on the left, uh, Greg, the handsome ones there in the middle holding our, our big award that we received for the best damn booth, inline booth, whatever that means. We're the best inline booth at the, at the AFA show. And then you've got Dave and... Frank, two of our salespeople, and Frank's online this morning, and he's, he's the one focused on dealer and component support. Uh, Dave takes care of more of the complete solution. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's go back to the beginning. So many of you weren't alive back in 1975, but um, I'm sure you appreciate the fact that there were people out there working hard, scraping the parquet floor, and coming up with cool ideas. And that's really the genesis of torsion. 
It grew out of a dealership owned by our uh, owner, Art Hurd. I also had a dealership, so I brought some ideas to the party. And those ideas, keep going, Greg, let's see where they went. Those ideas, the whole point was to come up with products that were solving real problems in the field that weren't copy and paste. You know, the control C that we all use when we're trying to put together a form or, or cut corners. No, no cutting corners. These are trying to find what are the clever but simple and reliable problems that we can solve and let's go ahead and solve them. And so that's what you've got. You've now got 45 plus years of cool ideas baked into our products. So let's look at what those, some of those are. Um, let, let's just capstone that idea on innovation with the idea that a product is a product. And we've all heard many of them and, and every salesperson is good at pitching their product. But ultimately, the difference a company can make to you in your business to help you make more profit is by helping save you time. Whether it's time in, in specifying a product, in quoting it, in installing it, absolutely installing it, and in supporting it afterwards that there are no callbacks. And that's ultimately because we came out of the dealership installer business, we understand the value of time and our products and services are meant to help you with that. So you're gonna see a little symbol on several of these slides that help feature when we really are proud that this is something that's a time saver against other solutions that you might be familiar with. Okay, let's get on the road. Maserati is, is screaming. Let's get off at exit one, the quick fold gate system. Why folding gates? Um, some of you may have put in folding gates in various applications, but you may not be aware of all the ways that folding gates can be successful on projects you're working on. So we've got a quick quick 18 plus one, you get a bonus, bonus round at the end, 18 plus one reasons why folding gates can make a lot of sense in various applications. So let's jump into it. Number one, for those of you particularly who do overhead door systems, roll up doors, there are times and sometimes frequently, more and more frequently, when there's no overhead room for your overhead or you're squeezing it in or the architect is frustrated that he has to put another 18, 24 inches above the door. Not needed. So folding gate system requires no overhead room. And here you see the benefit of that. We'll see more how it doesn't take up much room anywhere else, but no overhead room. Number two, we've got secure max. There are cases, installations, where the security of the property, whether keeping people out typically or sometimes keeping them in, is paramount. And the folding gate system is um, built with options. The secure max package has the options that make this absolutely possible. Uh, so let's look at it. Here's an example. You'll see that picture is from the San Francisco Medical Examiner's, the coroner's office up in San Francisco. But there's several features here. Up on the top, you see the blue. We have spin spikes uh, that are designed to make it very difficult, <laughs> uncomfortable, painful to climb over these gates. They're, they spin, and, and you'll see those in a, in a minute. On the left, in green, you see that all of the guts of a Model 3 torsion operator are inside that tower operator. Nothing is exposed, no wire, no nothing. And those are lockable cabinets. So it's absolutely secure, more secure than some of the other uh, systems you see out there. Third, we have a fast opening option, which you'll see in a second. A, a typical uh, gate is opening at about 16, you know, 15, 13 seconds like a, a standard swing gate, but we have a fast version which goes at about six to seven seconds full opening. And we'll, we'll show you that in a second. The last point is you see in the middle of the driveway there is a lock dock. So that's a, a, um, a, a puck in the middle of the driveway that the gates slide into so that they can't be pulled apart from the outside. A couple of options around that as well, but basically it's, it's the lock dock. So there are four features that make this a 
uh, super secure. And here, here's an example of it. This shows the spin spikes up on top, and this is at the uh, jail down in Monterey, California. Um, and there's a lot of cursed concertina wire <laughs> all around it as well, which, which convinces you it's a secure application. Here we are at the uh, United States Coast Guard underneath the Bay Bridge. Again, a high secure application. Um, this next one is at the Salinas Police Station. Why don't you play that video, Greg? Uh, if you can't turn off the music and let's just watch it. So this is, this is a, a brand new police station down in Salinas that features um, three bifolding folding gate systems. And um, first of all, they're, they're solid panels so you can't see through them. They've got the two Model 3 operators but they also are working at the, at the fast six, seven seconds opening time. Uh, because of the latency, there's a little bit of herky jerkiness here, but it, it, this is a seven second opening. Um, and those have now been operating for coming on a year, have thousands and thousands of cycles on them and are, are you know, just bulletproof. So these are examples of the secure max set of packages that go around the folding gate system. As we go through this presentation, you'll see they're great for single family residential, for multifamily residential, as well as for, for high secure applications. Um, so number three, or maybe we're on four. Oh, second, man. Oh, All right, Greg will get us back, there we go. back lined up. Thanks for that video, Greg, that's great. Um, the next one's interesting and this really also has to do about speed, but it's the speed that the vehicles can get in and out of a property. And there's something about the geometry of having the two folding gate systems moving simultaneously that are similar to that little boy who's running up that escalator right there. On the one hand, you've got the escalator moving, which is one movement, but on the second, you got the kid running on it, which is a second. So here we have our folding gate system. You've got the main panel, which is like the escalator. And then you've got the secondary panel, which is like the little boy running. So as a result, the opening actually opens faster as that vehicle's leaving the property, they can get closer to the gate sooner and out of the property faster. And that's very cool at rush hour traffic once we're no longer all sheltered in place. Um, so that's called the rapid opening geometry. Number four, the flexibility that these gates have on any type of finish. Here's a good example. This one's in Berkeley. You've got a water jet uh, gate panels that go on top of it. Uh, we got lots of other examples of, um, here's the next one is one of perforated metal. This is in downtown San Francisco, right near the Salesforce tower. Um, the bottom line is this is not a roll-up door. This is not a boring old gate. This can be turned into something that actually looks a lot like a door. And that's part of what's kind of cool here. Greg, next slide. Uh, yeah, now this, on this one, Peter, this was a, uh, this was a rolling, this was a roll-up door. Yeah, and that's they got, right. They had gotten so frustrated with it. The, the building owner did it, so they replaced it and put these in instead. So that was kind of interesting. No, that's, that's, that's exactly the point. So is it a gate or is it a door? Well, those of you guys who are in the roll-up door industry are more and more thinking, hey, this is a door. It works, it, it serves the same purpose and in some ways much better than a normal roll-up door. And those of you in the gate industry are saying, oh, heck yeah, that's a gate, I recognize it. So we're, we're, we're finding kind of a, a Venn diagram with this overlap coming um, as we talk about these, these folding gate solutions, particularly for the, for the underground parking applications. But also get creative here because because these can all be wired together and they're flat panels, there's no reason you can't put an LED screen on them or have a, an advertisement that's flashing or flashing through. Now, maybe that's not your business as a, as a, a dealer, but talking with the architect and talking with an owner who's desperate to make some extra cash to pay for their upgraded parking garage, these are things that are possible working with a the folding gate as the canvas upon which you paint. The, a rare opportunity to monetize your gates. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, think of that. Think of that. Okay, number five. These are very fun 
well, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. They're big, heavy pieces of equipment you have to, to load in, but the installation is damn fast. The whole package comes on a flatbed truck. You lift it up, you put it in place, eight bolts go in the ground, you bring in the power and it's done. It doesn't touch the wall. It doesn't touch the ceiling. It's a free standing system that we're testing in our factory in Tracy before it goes out on the truck to your site. So that's, that's you see that time clock down in the lower left-hand corner here. That's one of the ways that we've designed something that really saves you a lot of time in the field. Number six, yes, it's been tested. Not only has it been tested over a million times in our facility, but we've got hundreds of these out in the field that have been working um, hard hard, hard, high cycles for, for years. So that's the next point, number seven, that you're seeing these all over, particularly if you're in the Northern California area or down in Southern California. But here's another point on this slide that's kind of interesting. If you look in the back, you see in brackets there, there's a, a pad mounted swing gate operator. Yes, the folding gate system works just fine with a, a swing gate operator or even one of those heavy duty, say a max heavy duty actuator arm. Uh, so don't, you're not stuck with just using the full model three quick fold. You can use the quick fold gate system with other operators. Small. Well, you know, it used to be a large pizza was really large. Now they're not so large, but here's a, here's a 16 inch pizza. And this is the size of that base plate at the base of the Model 3 operator. So compared with that pad mounted operator we just looked at, it takes up next to no room. And in fact, we can trim off two inches in the back if you're really squeezing it in. The actual operator is 12 inches square but the pad at the bottom is 16 to give room for the bolt, uh, the bolt pattern. Uh, installation flexibility. So we've already shown this a little bit, but you, these folding gates are showing up in all sorts of applications now. You've got the fence line applications like we saw there at the Salinas Police. You've got uh, entrances to parking garage. You've got inside a parking garage where you're separating uh, the private section or the controlled access section from the public facing side. Uh, data centers. So all over campuses, these have uh, potential possible applications, as well as uh, a, a high-end single-family resident that's concerned about the space or wants a really nice canvas uh, to show off an architectural design on the gates of their, the leading into their property. We'll get to that with point number 19 as well. Okay, here we have number 10. So um, why not, especially when gates are in parking garages and the lighting is low, why not add some lighting features? And so we've done that um, as an option. You don't have to have it, but as an option, we can run right lighting that will then open red and, um, you know, red when it's, it's closing on you, green when it's opening, white when it's, it's steady state or, or some combination. You've seen that if you've been to our trade shows. You've seen how our gates have lights installed on them. It can either be mounted on the operator itself or on the gates or likely on that header panel across the top. This is a big way to avoid getting your gate hit, of course. You all know that from, from the industry. All right, here we go. So let's just talk about the Model 3 operator itself, number 11. This is a reliable, simple, few-part operator. You've got the tower itself, which is structural, powder coated, cold rolled steel. You have a drive arm down at the bottom. So that drive arm is what's pushing and pulling the gate open and closed. And it's being driven by a, a Leeson 24 volt, essentially off the shelf uh, DC motor, and then a, a super cool planetary, as you see a vertical gearbox, which is driving that lower arm. The brains of the system is up uh, at the upper third, which is a um, Lanier Apex 2 DC control board, UL certified thousands and thousands of these reliably out in the field. 
Uh, it has limit switches up at the top, which are connected to the upper following arm. So the lower and upper arms track each other, opening and closing. Of course, it has a reset button and horn and siren and all the jazz you'd expect. And then those two openings are covered with panels that can either screw on to hold them in place or in high security applications, you can, you can lock them down. And those are on the inside of the secure side of the property. Number 12 is just the elegance of that operator. And architects are very excited for two different, actually contradictory reasons. One is how they can get the operator to disappear. It's not sitting out there like a pad mounted operator or attached to the gate like, a, like an actuator or up above. It's, it's just, it looks like it's the post that's holding up the gate. If you see it at all, you can paint it any color and tuck it into the shadows, or you can really feature it like this one's being featured at the Louvre um, Museum, original and authentic, just like you love them. Number 13, okay, we're making good progress here on our, in our Maserati, so, so I'm glad you're, you're still with us enjoying the ride. Number 13 is the damn pad mount, rapid mount system, excuse me, not pad mount, rapid mount system. So you, a gate gets damaged and you need to remove it and put it back in place. You know, I can see your technicians out there with their welders and, and cutting things off and, and um, getting in the way of traffic that's trying to get it in. We've developed many, many years ago and proven it over the years, this rapid mount system. So you've got a U channel that is welded onto the gate itself and then that shaft is coming out of the operator. It's what you saw, it's the drive shaft you saw there a minute ago. And you simply drop a bolt through and screw it on. So when you need to remove that gate because it got hit, this is a five minute operation, literally. If you need to put one back on, it can be just as fast. Um, so we're, we're very excited by that. And that's definitely a time saver versus any other uh, solution you have out there today. Now let's talk noise. You know, I've been out in the field, you've been out in the field, and you know the worst phone call to get is from that property manager that says, oh, the woman who lives or the man who lives in the apartment above the gate is complaining about the noise. And with a roll-up door or a tilt-up gate, you know what they're talking about. There's something that's transmitting, and oftenly it's hard to figure out where it's coming from because noise moves very, very strangely through uh, solid structures. Maybe it's the spring, maybe it's the vibration of the motor. Um, it could be any one of them. It's the track that's that's grinding a little bit as the as the gate rolls up. Very frustrating and not easy to solve. We've got the solution. It's the um, folding gate system using the Model 3 operator. As we mentioned before, these only bolt down into the ground. So any vibration, any noise is being transmitted down, not into the walls, not into the ceiling. If it's a, a guide track version, the, the track itself is mounted independently from the wall to the two tower operators. So it's standing independently. And again, any noise is, is being maintained within that that system. And the operator is super quiet. Um, so as a result, noise isn't going anywhere and much less up into that apartment. In fact, Greg, uh, a couple of years ago was out with a guy with a, what his sound multi, his sound meter, um, testing this in a property because he wanted to compare it with a roll up door that was making noise at a nearby property and was e extremely impressed with the low, low noise. And that's, something that's, that's appreciated and you're seeing more and more in architect specifications. You can see the baby's just sleeping away there down at the bottom. 15, and this is you know back into the underground parking applications. There are lots of frustrations with uh, squeezing in one more parking space, which is worth a lot of money to that property owner, to the developer, um, to the parking uh, operator. So again, upper left, this is the overhead room that's taken up by tilt-up gates or roll-up doors. Uh, then you've got swing gates that can cover up two or three spaces as the gates swing open. You've got slide gates that are filling up the back track and taking up that, that, um, that site at the back of the, at the, back of the um, parking garage. 
And in each case, the folding gate is, is a potential solution. I mean, every, every, the folding gate as well isn't, doesn't take up no room. It takes up half the room of a typical folding gate system. And if you have a biparting gate system, you're probably talking about a five foot, four foot, five foot panel. So it's, it really is less than a parking space wide. Um, of course, it doesn't take overhead room in the upper left. And at the bottom, it, it does not need the backtrack, which may be impossible in that parking garage you're dealing with. Or maybe there's a sharp curve coming into the parking garage. And because of the way this folds out of the way, it, it uh, saves you the space. It just really it opens up about 110 off. degrees as well. So it's not this just showing at 90, but it can open up a little bit further. Go ahead, Greg. I would say it just gives the architects a lot of opportunity to, to yeah. do stuff that they wouldn't do otherwise. And that's, and we've heard that from a number of architects is, you know, this, we couldn't have done that if it hadn't been for the folding gate. So that's, that's and, and sometimes an architect, I mean, that's absolutely true, but sometimes an architect isn't involved. It's you, the dealer that's out there with a frustrated customer saying, Hey, what do I do in this case? Particularly little homeowners associations and all that aren't going to pay for an architect, but you bring solutions like this, and suddenly you can open up new conversations and, and potentially close business that you might not have gotten otherwise. Um, yeah, of course we're made in the United States. Our steel is US steel. We've got a team of employees that are Americans that are being paid here. Um, our vendors are all in the United States. So uh, count on us to be, to be focused on supporting the US economy, particularly in a time like right now. Uh, some of you may be in the Central Valley or other parts that are super flat and you haven't seen a hill, um, but there are places around here, particularly San Francisco or others where there are hills. And of course, this works just fine. If you put a bias gate on it, you can, this can accommodate a sloped driveway, which again, compared with that tilt up gate or that roll up gate is a real advantage. You don't have a trailer edge or some of the funky stuff that are needed or a big gap uh, under, under gates. 18, okay, we're at the, at the final round here. Of course, it's UL325. We've, we've, uh, are proud of the visits we get from UL that comes in and tests our equipment and helps make sure that they're super safe. Um, Greg, let's go to the next slide because this really shows, let's talk about a folding gate and the put on your UL pedestrian safety hat here. There are four places where a pedestrian uh, might get bumped by a folding gate system. <coughs> um, and, and for the most part, these aren't different than any gate system. But the first is walking in from the outside as the gate is opening um, or closing. The well, as it's closing, excuse me, will the gate close on them as they're walking in? No, the photo eye, which we provide standard on our operators and are part of our UL listing will prevent that pedestrian from, um, it, it will give them a, a, a non-contact sensor reopening the gate. Second, the person's walking from the inside out as the gate is closing. Well, that photo eye is not going to see them because they haven't gotten to it yet. So we put a wraparound Miller edge on the leading edge, uh, at, let's just call it a sensing edge, a wraparound sensing edge on the leading edge of the, uh, of the gate. And so that is what would sense that person. That would be a contact sensor, sense the person and reverse the gate back open. Number three, uh, this of course is the entrapment zone that you'd have with any swing gate if it, if it swings up against a wall within 16 inches. And for this, we have a photo eye that we can offer as an option that mounts on the back corner of the operator and shoots up that wall. You would mount a, uh, uh, photo, not a photo, a reflector um, on the wall and you would protect that zone. We've got a couple of other cool sensors that we're working on right now, which are also addressing that. But for now, it's a UL, uh, UL listed uh, photo eye. The fourth area is unique to a folding gate. And that is the idea that this, you know, this person walks into that V as the gate is opening. Now, why they would walk into that V, let's just put that aside, but conceptually it's, it's, it's possible. So we offer an option if you'd like, and in the future it may be required by UL. I'm on the UL uh, Standard Planning Committee and STP, um, and so I'll be 
I'll be having a say at that conversation and hope you will as well. Um, but if it's required, we would standardize on putting some sort of probably initially uh, an edge on the gate. That's what we're offering right now if you ask for it, or maybe we'll have something a little, a little more clever here in the future. But the point is, yes, we understand you well. Yes, it is you well listed. Yes, we have the safeties already involved and we have options for additionals if you'd like them. Here's your bonus round. This is actually a surprise. We try to plan and think ahead, but what we found is the, the movement of that folding gate at the property or even at the police station is one of a welcoming arms. You can just picture the arms opening up and saying welcome in the case that you're coming back to your apartment, welcome home or welcome into this facility or the police department or whatever it is. And that, that motion is very, very appealing. And it's, it's, it's part of what's making these really catch people's attention. And we hope you'll, you'll consider them as well. All right, let's, let's get into some brass tacks. Um, and then we're going to get on with our next exit, which is the components. So here, if you want to build your own gates, absolutely just add gates. We will provide you through NCON the kit of components that will turn this into, turn your gate panels into a folding gate panel. Here's an example of uh, the flex arm. So this is the version of the, uh, of our system, of our quick fold system that works if there's no overhead uh, guide. Uh, let's go to the next one, Greg. Um, the one, well, you know, the first decision you need to make is are you doing this with a guide across the top that mounts to the two operators or are you doing it with the flex arm? The arm, of course, is the one that'll work out on a fence line where you don't want a, a limited height. It can also work under a building. Uh, the flex guide works well under a building and is, is best when you've got big, strange shaped gates. The bigger they get, the wider they get, having that extra guide helps, helps the movement be more uh, consistent. Um, so this is what you get. You get a set of, um, really thoughtful installation instructions that will remind you of putting together your Ikea bed for your, for your daughter. Um, but here's, here's the elements. You get the bracketry, you get the, um, the hinges, you get the, um, the bearing hinges if it's on a, on a mounted off of a post. Um, all of that comes in a kit with instructions and you're ready to go. The instructions include how, what kind of gauge to use on your gate, how, what, how, what the spacing should be, how to mount the U-bracket and anything else that you need to make the system work. Uh, so that's the version for the, um, for the flex arm. And this is for the flex guide. You see down at the bottom is the actual guide that would attach to uh, the two operators. And then you've got the rest of the hardware that goes along with it and the instructions. Okay, so those are available for you in single, left, right, uh, biparting kit. Uh, you can order those from NCON. Okay, let's get back on the highway. Now we're zipping along and let's talk components. So at the same time, Torsion has been working hard on developing these complete turnkey systems. We've also developed a number of components that we think um, are, are interesting for, for many customers. And if you're not aware of them, you should be. Uh, so let's flip through them. So you see there are, you know, a dozen or so different components that we specialize in. Here are a few featured. That hinge I talked about, what's particularly cool about, for, besides it just being bulletproof and handling, you know, hundreds and hundreds of folding gate systems we put out there without one issue, Zerk fitting all the rest of the jazz, is that it, it mounts on brackets that the um, that we provide that are threaded and then you just screw the, the hinge on. So in the event that you're replacing a gate panel, you can just unscrew the, the hinge, put in the new panel, screw in the hinge and you're back in business. Again, a big time savings and very elegant. Uh, good for the finish also. So it looks, everything looks consistent. 
Peter, I'm going to go back just for a second because I want to talk a little bit about the wheel box. I know we were, uh, we didn't put in a specific slide about yeah, the, the wheel box, the good, tandem good. box. So. so this is this down lower left there. You see our Weightmaster 325. Um, every wheel box needs to be, you know, meet the UL325 standards, which means it needs to be fully covered. And we've built one for single uh, six inch, single four inch, and then the tandem four inch and six inch. And this is a, a, a badass heavy duty uh, wheel pocket for big, tough gates. And we certainly recommend them. They're easy just to weld in and go. Um, so Weightmaster 325, four different uh, part numbers. Second area that's gotten a lot of cool attention are um, these new sensors. This is very exciting. And I think as people in this industry, we're gonna be thrilled over the next few years at how sensors evolve from just the standard photo eyes and uh, edge sensors to a whole plethora of different technologies. So you've all seen the Optex sensor come out. There's now the BEA laser H11 and they're the photo eyes. And what Torsion has done is taken those uh, beautiful but expensive products and provided them a housing that does several things. It gives them more durability because now they're protected from the elements. It protects them from vandalism, whether intentional or unintentional, the car backing into it. Um, and they look elegant so that high-end residents appreciates them or uh, a, a corporate campus that wants to control its environment. So that first one works with the Optech sensor. This one is designed specially for the laser, the BEA Laser H100. And this is being fabricated right now and will be available for, for shipping in within 30 days. So now's the time to get in your pre-orders. The Optex uh, sensor vault is available today. And then here's one photo vault that can work either with your EMX or your Omron or, or other types of photo, photo eyes. So they're heavy duty, they're cost effective, they're a great insurance policy for, you know, when with that BEA laser vault, what do you, what's that customer spending? You know, 1200 bucks or more for it. You know, this is a great way to help ensure that that's a that's a safe investment. They don't have to replace it two or three times over the life of their gate system. So we'd love you to come and, and check out our, our series of three different uh, vaults. Well, this is the preform loop is our, um, been our bread and butter for, I don't know, decades. And it's, it's um, just like torsion makes things. It's heavy duty, it's reliable. Most importantly for a loop, it's splice free. So you don't have the chance of, of water intrusion in it like you do with almost every other loop that's out there. You have standard sizes that Encon stocks, I think five key standard sizes, and then we can make custom sizes until the cows come home. You tell us what we need and we'll, we'll make them for you. We make a, a, a series of products around the PVC uh, barrier arm, uh, this is lower weight, lower cost, easy to install, easy to store. You can see they slip in nicely to a standard uh, wood arm uh, plate. We have the folding uh, mechanism and this stuff is proven, been out there forever, has the DOT special tape on it. So uh, the parking guys love it um, and you're ready to go. But I want to get to what Jeff was talking about, which is your frustration, both from the dealer and from the distributor of the cost to ship these darn arms. You know, UPS has a limit. It has to be eight feet or less, or they charge a big uh, extra charge. So we've solved that. We're giving you a 12 foot arm in an eight foot package. So get that, we've, we've, you'll see how it works here. Um, this is saving you money, uh, saving everyone frustration, easier to store, and super easy to put together in the field. Um, you know, you could pay an extra $100. You could pay more for the shipping than you pay for the arm itself. So it just takes a couple minutes to install. You pull out the two pieces. One slides into the other, uh, attaches with four 
tech screws that we provide along with easy to follow instructions and then boom, you mount that on your operator and you were off and running and you've just gotten yourself a 12 foot arm for the price of eight foot shipping. This is called the ship smart um, bright arm. And there you go, it's off and running. So we'd love to love to put you in that, that business um, along with the other, the other PVC arms that we provide. Um, and then we have pedestrian gates. So these are turnkey. This is again a huge time saver. If you love to build your own pedestrian gates, go at it. And we have a couple of, of products that might help you do that uh, better and faster. But if you'd like to simply put that in our responsibility, we have a standard design, which is off on the left there. It can be either with the, um, the panic bar or it can be with the, uh, the, the lock, the lever lock. Um, lots of options. You can have it wet set or um, pad mounted, um, but we also can accommodate all sorts of different designs of finish and fabrics to meet the architect's desire or the customer's desire or your, your preferences. Uh, this is called AMPT, American Pedgate, and uh, we'll work with you, do the drawings, have you sign off them, confirm we're good to go. They all include this, which is either a bar guard or a lock guard to prevent reach through and prevent reach through in a really handsome, elegant way. And this also, if you build your own gates or you're trying to retrofit a problem on, on a property where reach through is happening, these are ready to go. We, through NCON, you can purchase them. Um, obviously one is for the lever lock, one is for the panic bar. They work for any panic bar, any lever lock an easy cutout for tack welds and you're, you're in business. Uh, you know, it's so funny, please, this, this product, Peter, was, it, we were at a trade show and I had somebody say, oh, well, we, we make our own. And then a couple guys were standing behind me. Why would you possibly do that? <laughs> well, why would you spend the time and resources to make one of these when you can just buy one of these? And this is a guy that had been around for 40 years in the gate business. So no, some, I think that's, that's really the key thing. In this. Yeah, no, sometimes it's prized. Sometimes you've got people standing around, but rarely, not in today's world. And those of you who are making good money are figuring out how to buy things cost effectively to help you make money. And this is just one example of what might be, what might be useful. The bar guard and the lock guard. So those are, those are components. There's more, of course, you saw at the top end and NCON or work directly with Frank to give you information and then you can buy it through NCON, have information on the components. But let's move forward to coming attractions. So this is our third stop on our tour. Now you're on the beautiful coast of California. The air is clear, nice cool breeze. Let's talk pedestrian. Okay, pause. If you've been Focusing on other business up till now, and this has just been going in the background, give me your attention just for a moment here. When in a business do you have a chance to break open a whole new market? It's not often. Most businesses are pretty mature and you're fighting hard to scrabble out your existence. This may be one of those and I want you to, to, to be aware of it. Um, how many pedestrian gates and outdoor doors are there in the, in the United States, in your territory, in your city? There are lots and lots and lots of them. And more than 99% of them are not automated. They're a manual gate. They may have a hydraulic closer, but they don't open automatically. And uh, granted, many of them will never need to open automatically, but more and more they will. And now's the moment to get into this opportunity. And we've got two products we've developed that are gonna help you do that. So let's look at them. You can start that video, Greg. The first you saw at our trade, at the trade show booth, this is the Auto Amped. So it's an amped gate like you saw, but it has a mechanism, you see that up on the top, an elegant outdoor rated, wind, cold, rain, seaside, stainless covered, automatic, um, opener. You see I'm pushing the button there, the gate is opened up without me touching it and through you go. So think about ADA. Greg, maybe you show the, the different slides there. So think about the person who has a disability and needs to get through a pedestrian gate to get into the pool area, to get into their condo community, to get into the school where they're um, being educated. They need 
the automation. Think about the person who's carrying too much crap up to a gate or their surfboard or their bicycle or whatever it may be. They need an automatic outdoor gate. Think about COVID and the fact that people don't want to touch things. You know, if you could touch the button and have it open for you, or you know that their, their sensor, their hands-free sensors now, you can have that gate open and you can enter in without it ever touching you. This one, of the people, is, yeah, one of the things people ask us a lot uh, is um, with, the, with the automatic peg gate is, is really the, the automatic peg gates right now is as safe as essentially walking through a gate that has a spring on it, similar to what they would have at a pool, very, very similar action on that, Peter, you can probably explain it just a little bit better. People yeah, no. <laughs> you know, of course, this is totally designed to be safe and it's UL325 uh, listed as well. It meets with ANSI, which means it opens, but it if something gets in the way, it will stop opening and it closes. But if something gets in the way, it'll reverse back open or it will stop. It's, it's as safe and in many ways more safe than your hydraulic closer and Sensors are real here. You know, the ones that you use when you walk into Trader Joe's that sense you and open the door or prevent the door from closing on you. All of those can be provided on this automatic pedestrian gate. Here's product number two. This is also very cool. So this is an overhead operator that's moving a pedestrian slide gate. And this, we, we became aware of this need when we were talking with people who are in the correctional industry. And this is certainly something that's in many correctional uh, institutions, whether indoors or outdoors. Um, but it also, we think there's a good opportunity and we're getting a number of queries about using it in other applications. Um, so Greg, why don't you show us those? We've, um, and as you think about your market, you'll find where you think it may make sense. In data centers, so you, you need you know, hand carts or golf carts or people walking into special areas where you want it to be secure, um, but a door isn't the right thing, this may be a, a great solution or it's an outdoor entrance. At stadiums or any place where there are large quantities of people, you want to get people in or out quickly, securely, uh, this, this is a way to do it without any, any mechanism that anyone's going to bump into. This is up and out of the way. Lower left to secure areas in distribution. So you've got uh, high value products in the corner of Safeway's warehouse. This would be a way to, to uh, cordon that off with access control, but the hand truck can still get in. So you, it's easy to move things in and out, no track on the ground, uh, no mechanism um, out of the way. And then of course in corrections. Uh, the one we're coming out with initially is gonna be a four foot wide uh, gate panel. And then we have plans for, for wider panels as we go forward. And we're eager to talk with you about this. We have the documentation ready to go. Um, so back on the road now, it looks like we're out at Death Valley or somewhere uh, nice, and, nice and hot on a beautiful day like today. And let's talk about support. So of course, we've been around, we know websites, we've got descriptions and specs and drawings on every product I've shown you there and more. Uh, so easy to use and click through. Um, we've got excellent documentation. And let's start on the front end. We have these really thoughtfully designed intake forms that you can use. If, if you haven't done a folding gate system before or some of these other systems we're talking about, the AutoPed others, We'll send you, or you can download off our website, these, these packets, which we'll talk you through step by step by step. What do you need to be thinking about? What do you need to measure? What are some alternatives to consider? And we're not locking you in. If you don't know the answer, you don't know the answer. We'll give you an estimate based on the information you give us. And we're happy to walk you through this. And, and that's a good way of kind of co-training uh, on the front end as you, as you do these for the first few times. Uh, so here's here's a good example of documentation. And that's a time saver. You know, you don't want to have to come back and forth to us or to NCON for that matter for 20 times on a project. You want to go in once, get it, get the number, go back to the customer, see if you've got them interested, and then work from there. Okay, you do have them interested. Well, then you need good drawings. And we absolutely provide shop drawings custom to your project. 
uh, we'll have you sign off on them and you get your customer to sign off of them. So when we build that custom solution for you, we make sure that everyone's happy with what shows up on the back of the truck on the on install day. Uh, then we have installation instructions on everything we do so that you don't have to second guess um, how to install that Optex sensor. Um, I think I just disappeared. Um, Me too. But you're probably yeah, sick of watching yeah, me anyway. We've got live support. So we have people um, online in our Tracy facility ready to support you supporting queries into our, our question box on our website. Um, so we're here to help. We've got good information. We think we've thought things through pretty well on the front end, but we're also always open to uh, ideas for improvements. Um, you'll find a YouTube channel. If you go youtube.torsion, you'll find a whole series of uh, videos that show our product in action. And these are great ways of getting familiar with them, but more importantly, sending them to your potential clients as a way of saying, hey, have you thought about this type of, of solution? Um, and those are always being updated. Hey, like us on Facebook, like us on LinkedIn, everyone says that. But really, if there's always an update coming out there on a new install we've done or uh, some new new product that we're coming out with and, and we love to be in touch with you. That's where the conversations can happen when we're all uh, stuck working out of our, our confined spaces these days. So a rock star on our team is Frank Bacosa. Frank Bacosa runs our distribution business and the component side and he's in Tracy and he's overseeing the production. So he knows everything that you need to know uh, to be successful from a from a dealer through distribution and component side. Dave Jablonski is our go-to person for systems. He knows how to, he's been in the field, he's turned a wrench, he knows, knows how these things go in. Uh, and he is now the very, very smart about uh, solving technical questions from early in the engineering and design and, and to all the way to the install and servicing it. So you'll reach out to him if it's more of a system you're talking about, you'll reach out to Frank if it's more of a, a component that you may be interested in. Strong team, one phone number. So here we are, we've arrived. The Lamborghini is cooling down there. You can see the steam coming out of the, the exhaust pipes. You've made it to that beautiful clear lake at the end of this uh, webinar. <laughs> so thank you. I hope it's been useful to you and we are now uh, have a few minutes to answer any questions. Frank, I don't know if, if chats have come through. Um, Jeff, I don't know if you have follow-up questions you'd like to provide or anyone else wants to pop off of mute and uh, give, us a, give us something that's on their mind. I haven't seen any chats come through, but if anybody wants to type into the chat section, please feel free. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. We, we absolutely appreciate you all who joined us this morning, spending the time with us and Torsion. And whether you have questions at this moment or not, I hope you at least have a little more knowledge and confidence and uh, will reach out to us. Um, I also wanna say that through Greg and Jeff will be uh, producing a, a video of this or just capture the video of this if it's if it's something that you want to send out to your folks on your team or your salesperson or estimator or client um, by all means that's that's what it's here for. Uh, so Frank I saw one question come in there. So what is available on the Amped Pedgate? So the the manual pedestrian gate, which includes a hydraulic closer and all the rest of it is available today. For the, for the auto pad, for just the automation portion of it, which can be combined with that pedestrian gate or retrofitted on yours, we're expecting to see those at the end of the year. We're working our engineering damnedest right now to get through UL and, and a couple of other things. So it's not quite ready for showtime, but we have specs on it to a degree if you want to use it for um, working with your clients and, and some initial thinking on it. And 
NCON will be your point of contact as soon as we have that available to, to get it out to you. Okay, well, I don't want to overstay our welcome, so I'll turn it back to you, Jeff, but I, I just want to once again appreciate NCON and all that you've done for us and the industry for decades and appreciate the, the dealers who joined us this morning to learn a little bit more about torsion and become part of our, our growing happy family. <laughs> well, thank you, Peter. That, that was very nice of you. Uh, you know, we, we just want to, I want to thank everyone first off who joined us today and this has been recorded. It'll be available on our website and we'll, we'll put out some more information about that soon as, as everything's ready to go. Um, we will continue the webinar Wednesday series for the next couple of months where we're all booked in. But uh, mostly I want to thank Peter and Greg and Frank for their time today. I mean, this is, this is a major deal taking away an hour of your time to start the day and, and get things going. Um, I, I believe that they have a, they have multiple products and services that are going to be very helpful to all of the installers out there uh, that are going to make your job easier. And, Here's the big thing, buy local. You're buying from a Bay Area company. I mean, they are actually making this stuff made in the USA, made strong right here in our own backyard. Uh, this, this product, most of it is already in stock, ready to roll. And you know, we just want to make you all aware of the possibilities to enhance your job sites. Um, again, thank you so much to Peter and Greg and I really hope this was an informative time for you all, and thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jeff, thanks, and everybody else who joined. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.